You can't ride a bike in winter. It's too cold. Now, we've all heard the litany of excuses why people can't ride a bike in the winter, but actually, it's pretty easy and quite enjoyable, especially once you learn to get past some of the barriers uh, involved with uh, trying to stay warm and fight back on the cold. Now today, I'm going to talk about one of the most important accessories that I have found that enables me to get past the cold, get on my bike, and leave the car at home. And before you think that this is going to be an episode that outlines all of the ways that you can dress for the cold and prepare for winter riding, it's not that. Uh, there's plenty of YouTubers out there or other resources that are great on explaining how to layer up, um, dressing properly, quality items to buy to wear to keep yourself warm. That's not going to be this video. Today, we're going to talk about one item, and it's called pogies. Now, pogies exist in a lot of countries with a strong cycling culture uh, that also has dreaded winter. Obviously, I started off with calling them pogies. That's how they're most often re referred to in dominantly English-speaking uh, language countries, like the U.S., Canada. Um, but even up in Canada or around here, you're going to hear handlebar mitts or just mitts. Now, let's go on to some uh, more, uh, shall I say, difficult uh, uh, words for describing pogies. I'm going to go into Scandinavian countries. Thank you, ChatGPT. Uh, Norway, Sweden, Finland, and let's go with some of those. So let me look. I have to look off screen here. So we're going to start with Finnish. I'm going to need some help. So I got the translator here. Let's see what Finnish calls pogies. Ohjausten lapaset. Ohjausten lapaset. Good. <coughs> Don't butcher me if it's not. So we got Finnish. Let's go with Norwegian. Norwegian, we got S-T-Y-R-E-T-S-V-O-T-T-E-R. -T -T -E Let's hear that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. In Norwegian... We've got Sanktriatsvotter. Um, they're translating this to the mittens of the straw. <laughs> so there's Sanktriatsvotter. Okay, there's Norwegian. Now let's do one more here. Let's check out what Swedish is for pogies. Styretsvantar. <laughs> Uh, in Swedish, we've got Stretsvantar. Stretsvantar. Handlebar gloves. Also, there's another one that I use a lot, uh, Fitzmoffen. So, I don't know where I learned that. Uh, I originally thought it was from Dutch. Uh, when I ran this pack past Bicycle Dutch, he's like, well, I've never heard it before, but it makes sense, and if it weren't for you, I would not have known that term. So anyway, let's get into pogies. Today, I'm going to be talking about pogies that I found from two different companies. Uh, and I just want to say that this is not sponsored content. Uh, these companies did not reach out to me to do this. Uh, just over the course of trying to solve the problem of perpetually cold hands, which I tend to suffer from, and needing to be able to find a way to ride my bike uh, without freezing my fingers off, uh, it was a huge barrier for me, so I had to find an answer, and during the time of looking for that answer, I came across two different companies, one Dutch, um, one Swedish, and they're excellent. High quality pogies, and it serves... Got a loud fucking noise out there. Just gonna pause this and come back. Every time you take a sip, yeah, you make this noise. Ah, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Okay, we're back. I had to stop and take a break for one of the most suburban things you've ever heard of. My neighbors pay for this subscription service where this massive truck comes around 
that has this really loud steam cleaning device in it and it cleans out the interior of their garbage can. Super loud, super distracting. Anyway, back to what we were talking about, pogies. So I don't know where I was. Two companies that I found on my own, not sponsored content. I just found that they made a really high quality pogey that accomplished what I wanted it to, but also it checked another box that's actually pretty important to me, and that's that they look good. They're not only high quality, but they make your bike look good while doing it. So how did this all start? Well, I only got into bikes again as an adult while I was living in Minnesota, and up there they have some very serious winters. And as I started to see, hey, I might want to try to go get groceries on my bike in the winter, I'm going to have to solve the problem that has always been a problem for me, and that's cold fingers, cold hands. I had figured out how to keep my, hand, or my feet warm, legs, upper body through proper layering. Gloves just weren't cutting it. And if you look out there, there's gloves for all price types and from a bunch of different companies, most of them large corporations. But you can spend $10 on a pair of gloves. You can spend $200 on a pair of gloves. And I'm here to say that I don't think spending more actually gets you the proper protection and utility that you need uh, just based on my experience. Uh, I started looking around, you know, at the various gloves and I ordered a cheaper pair, let's say, well, cheaper, I think it was like 60 bucks, right? And I thought, okay, this will do it. $60 gloves, they'll keep my hands warm. Um, went out, tried a small ride in the winter, I think it was December, and my fingers were frozen. I didn't get far, turned around, came home, and said, you know, crap, I have to take these back, this isn't gonna work. So then I jumped up on the price scale. I think the next ones I ordered were like from that company 45 North, you know, 45 NRT or NRTH, $160 for a pair of gloves, I think. And I thought, this'll do it. Th these are my gloves. This is gonna keep these digits warm and allow me to go get my groceries and do everything else that I need to do. I remember that day I started riding. I got about five kilometers from home and I started to get to where I could not feel my fingers. Immediately, my heart started pumping. Uh, I was genuinely scared because it was super cold out, so I turned around and I am just pedaling back home. The numbness and the cold is getting worse on my hands. Fortunately, I made it back, took those gloves off, I returned them, and I just felt kind of defeated. I didn't know, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna be able to try this bikes as transportation thing through the winter? If I can't stay safe and stay warm, somehow, and I don't remember because it's been a long time, I ended up on pogies. And the first company I found was a company called WOBS, W-O-B-S. So WOBS stands for Warm On Bikes. Um, I've got a pair right here. So here we are, WOBS. Uh, I have the black pair, but they have a ton of design patterns and colors. Let me show you what the inside looks like. Inside is this soft fluff, right? And then the ends, which you, you know, put onto the bars and it's got some Velcro and a cinching thing here because the, the whole point is to cut down on any wind that's gonna come in through the front of these, right? So you can get these sealed up really well. So after getting my wobs and taking my first ride with them. I was able to just have your average pair of gloves that weren't that expensive. I think I spent like $20, $30 on a pair of gloves. But once you get your hand inside of these uh, pogies, what it does is it doesn't allow that wind to reach your hand, which you know starts to siphon off any built up heat, especially as it penetrates the glove. You're able to build up more heat in your glove. A little bit of heat builds up in the pogie itself and that helps you cover your distances um especially here in north america to go get those groceries or go run whatever errand it is you're trying to run and keep those hands warm so about wobs i don't know how i found them uh, but i started to read about their backstory and apparently wobs is started by a dutch woman uh, back in 2012 her name is where to go hester tavern tavern hester was actually working and living in shanghai 
And during that time in the winter, she started to see all the Chinese on their mopeds, and they had these big black gloves. She said they were taped around the front uh, to hold them to the handlebars. It was to keep their hands warm during their commute, winter commute on the mopeds. And so she thought, well, hmm, I want to do my own design of this for my Dutch counterparts back at home, give them a flair of style. But also she had this idea that she wanted to make this a very sustainable product. The Wob's design is, has a very nice uh, water repellent lining, which so if it's snowing or even you know raining, it's not gonna um, penetrate your Wob's. And also has a nice furry lining, so it's soft to put your hands in. Some of you uh, are a little bit better with cold, so maybe you won't need gloves. You can just put your hands in and that covers uh, all your bases. The rest of you, if you're like me, you gotta have gloves all the time. So uh, having pogies, or you know, wobs in this case, allows you to get a smaller glove uh, that's not big and puffy. That way you can have a little bit more dexterity. Is that the word I'm looking for? M much more easily manipulate things. You gotta grab your phone or shift your gears or whatever else. Uh, but wobs also are very sustainable. So each pair of wobs, as far as I'm aware, is made from 10 recycled plastic bottles. Her motivation for, for making this product sustainable and you know eco-friendly was that she wanted to contribute to the reduction of plastic waste in the world with these. Helps you do bikes as transportation, which cuts down on cars, and we all know the pollution that comes from cars. And then also the way the, the, the wobs are made, is just great for sustainability. Now, another problem I ran into was being able to buy these wobs because so many great products that you're gonna find that really make your bike comfortable for transportation riding, a lot of those products are still over in Europe, across the Atlantic, right? They haven't come over here because North America just loves to keep bikes as sport, bikes as recreation, and they don't think about people who just want to dress for the destination, not dress for the ride. So I needed to find a way to order them because from the WOBS website, they weren't shipping to the US. They were only serving like the Netherlands and a couple handful of countries around them. Started to look some more and more and more and I finally found this website called hollandbikeshop.com. So hollandbikeshop.com has everything you could think of from sports and recreation type stuff to tires, to bells, to wobs, you name it, lights, they have it all. And it's all at pretty good prices. It's best if you can support your local bike shop, right? We've got to give them business. We want them to grow. However, until they start to carry some of these things that some of us are starting to need for transportation cycling, you may have to go elsewhere. A good thing to do though, tell your local bike shop about that product. See what they can do to get it, and if they can't, hollandbikeshop.com. But I also found that to ship to the US, the shipping was expensive. In this case, as much as the pogies themselves. But the thing about that is that this is a specialty item. This is something that's gonna enable you to keep riding your bike through the winter, so it's worth that extra cost. Uh, it's not like you're gonna be buying these every year, right? It's kind of a one and done purchase. But another thing to do with hollandbikeshop.com is maybe reach out to some of your friends and family who are local and say, hey, I'm gonna get this. Uh, do you wanna look on the website and see if you want something or if you want some of these as well and share that shipping cost, right? Make it worth it. So that's a resource that you can use for these, uh, for the WOBs specifically. Oh, that's getting cold fast. Coffee. So I've got the wobs for me. They were serving me really well on my work cycles freight that I had at the time. Of course, now you see I have an Urban Arrow here. Um, but one thing that many of these Dutch bikes have in common is the curved bars or the swept back bars. And that's what these are designed for, right? So you kind of see the curve. Uh, and that's not going to work out good on a straight bar bike. Now, my wife has a Turn HSD, which the bars on there, we, you can actually, at the time, I knew you could get a couple different types of bars. You could get more straight bars, or you could get some that had a very slight curve back. I think they were like comfort bars or something. Using wobs on there, it's, it's just not a good option because then you'd have to kind of slip your hands in from the outside and then pull the wobs back. And 
that might cause problems with your brake levers. So I had to start to look around to find a solution for her because I wanted to see if she could maybe ride a little bit more in colder weather. I'm looking, looking, looking. I fall upon the next company that I want to tell you about that makes pogies. So that enters the company called Weather Goods Sweden. I found that they had a pair of pogies that they sold at the time. This was a few years ago before they actually shipped to the U.S., so I had to do a little finessing. I had to have a, a very good friend of mine in the Netherlands order these and then repackage them and ship them to me. But, good news, as of last talking to Weather Goods, they are now shipping to the U.S. or putting everything in place so that it's much simpler. And I believe that includes Canada as well. <clears throat> One more coffee. So the Weather Goods Company, I'm going to have to script this a little bit. So they're out of Malmo, Sweden, and it was started by two sisters, actually, back in 2014, who had a passion for cycling, obviously, uh, for transportation. Uh, they wanted to create a smart and well-designed uh, accessories for people who love to take bikes, whether it's to work or the gym or to go see a friend in town. Their vision was to design products that work perfectly for urban cyclists, but to still be stylish and always affect their Scandinavian heritage. Reflect, not affect. As of 2023, they started to make a shift in their product lineup to be more sustainable, so they're trying to source more recycled products for making all the various things that they make. If you look on their website, you're going to see that they have like rain ponchos, obviously the pogies, some really beautiful bags that have clips to hook onto rear racks, and also the straps to wear them as backpacks. Just a lot of good things there that you're going to need to check out their website for. Now, when you go to Weather Goods website and look at their pogies, you're going to find two designs. So you're going to find the ones that I recently got and let me say this, I love my Wobs. They were the first ones that I ever got, and they got me through a bunch of years. But I just recently got my hands on the Weather Goods pair. I love these. First of all, they're beautiful. I mean, I know they're all, they're all black, right? Except for we got a reflective stripe here. I don't know if the light is reflecting that. They're beautiful. They're cozy. The inside of the Weather Goods bogies that are curved for curved bars, uh, they're a little bit tighter than the Wobs. So actually, I found that I may need to get an even thinner glove to make these work better so I can slip in and out easier. But the inside just feels more insulated and warmer. I, I just really like these a lot. So they have the curved kind, which are working extremely well on my Urban Arrow. Uh, any, anybody that has some pretty decent, you know, swept back bars. You can Google an Urban Arrow and look at the bar type, or I'll probably have some photos in this video that kind of show what the curved type works for. So that works for me, but they don't work for my wife's bike. So we had to order her the pair that was made for straight bars and while her bars are not completely straight i think we found that the straight uh straight bar pogey design from weather goods fit the turn bikes better than if i had gotten the curved bar design uh, that's up to you to figure out uh don't completely take my word for it but anyway my wife is running yeah weather goods pogies uh hers is a little bit older model that has a little bit different fox fur design. They're beautiful and they work good. And just as of recent, uh, I helped a friend up in Chicago who has a cargo bike uh, with straight bars. I helped put him in touch with Weather Goods so that he could order their last pair in stock for the year of the straight bar pogies. And I'm told that they are completely restocking for next year and everything. But he got his, sent me a photo, and looks great. And he said he loves them. Uh, they're going to serve him well in Chicago, especially if uh, we ever get real winter again. So you have straight bars, don't get wobs. Um, if you're interested in what I'm talking about, go check out the Weather Goods uh, straight bar offerings. And if the website isn't set up at the time for shipping to North America, send them an email. I know they're really responsive through Instagram uh, DM. Uh, they will get back to you. They will help you. They'll get an order set up for you and get it shipped out. They're, they're super good people. Now, lastly, I want to wrap up something about these two companies, the Wobs and the Weather Goods. They're both small businesses. That's great. We've got to support those people. There's plenty of corporations out there that are making cycling gear. That's all good when you're, you know, in a corner and you need something that they make that you can't really get anywhere else. But when possible, I like to give patronage to small businesses. 
rather than these big corporations. So with Weather Goods and Wobs, small businesses help them out. They're making a product that's trying to help a lot of us out throughout the world who are trying to leave the car at home or don't have a car and just want to get somewhere on our bikes during the colder months and keep these hands warm. That's it. I uh, just wanted to introduce you to what I felt was one of the most important winter cycling products that can enable people who want to ride a bike through the winter, get from A to B, not have their hands frozen, not order super expensive gloves that may not work for them, and it's a product that's not too expensive. Also, I'll add that it can be a product that can be somewhat easily taken off and stolen if you wind up leaving your bike outside uh, for longer periods of time or in places that aren't necessarily safe. Maybe take them off, take them in with you, whether that's into the office or into the store. Uh, I do know somebody up in Canada who just recently had her wobs stolen uh, not too long <laughs> after getting them. But anyway, yeah, keep that in mind. Last thing I want to touch on, um, gloves really quick. I just had to grab my gloves. So as I told you, I have like a thinner, not expensive pair of gloves. And that's one thing that's really cool about pogies is that they'll do the bulk of the work to keep your hands warm, right? So you can get a, a thinner glove that offers you more dexterity. And nowadays they have these gloves, um, might be kind of hard to see, but the, the tips on them uh, react with uh, cell phones. So I can still keep my gloves on, but control my cell phone screen. See here? So in case you didn't know about that, that exists nowadays. Not that it's uh, some sort of fancy tech, but it's sure useful. And it allows me to, you know, if I got to do something with my phone while I'm out and about, I don't have to rip my gloves off like I used to in the past and then make my hands super cold in the process. One more thing I just thought of, just a moment, because it's still about keeping your hands warm. When winter really starts to ratchet up the cold, when you've got your gloves, you've got your pogies, but still you're feeling like, ah, my hands still get kind of chilly, uh, or even my feet too. There's these things called hot hands. There's various different companies that make these things. You open this up, it's got this little packet in here that reacts with oxygen and heats these things up. So what I do whenever it's super cold, I, you know, I take two packs of these because it, it would be four. I stick one in each boot and then slip my, feet in there and it keeps my feet warmer and then I slip one in each glove and it helps keep my hands super toasty and I think one of these will like go for yeah this one says up to 10 hours of heat so you know if you have multiple errands to run in a day you can uh, get an almost an entire day's use out of these you got to go run somewhere in the morning and it's really cold use these come back home you got to go somewhere else in the evening slip the same ones back uh, back in and uh, they'll take care of you on that run. So yeah, hot hands, gloves that can control cell phone, wobs, and weather goods. I hope you found this helpful. Again, I just felt like it's important to share something that has enabled me over the years that I think can enable you to uh, cycle more during the winter, keep that car parked, stay warm at the same time. So all right, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, that's cold coffee.